Um, today we're gonna go get the last crucial parts for Little Miss. Tell a joke. Tell a joke. Tell the people why you're not supposed to tell jokes. Tell and us just jokes. tell a joke. And so another present that we have received has been a solar system. And I'm not talking about the universe, people. I'm talking about solar for the boat. Thank you, sales. Obviously, you found out who we are. Sent us an extra sale for free. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bacon sales. Are you aching? For some bacon. Yep, yep, yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> It's the next morning and you guys saw us work on the windows last night and uh, we're gonna get ready to go to our mad scientist friend that designed and helped us design and made these windows for us. We're gonna do some exciting products and projects at his office today. We have a lot of things to do. Maybe we can get Aubrey to tell us. Hey, oh my goodness, you don't have any clothes on. I have some. I have my pants. Um, today we're gonna go get the last parts for Little Miss which is this bracket that we're using for the main sheet because we've moved the main sheet from the cockpit to the coach house so that uh -huh. we can have solar so I'm very excited about that and just for fun we've powder coated the winches which I'm a little bit nervous about because I don't know if they're gonna lose friction they're not self tailing so we'll see how that works out I'll let you know if that's a good idea or not but our friend Edward the mad scientist has a powder coating machine I'm like what could we powder coat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if we had an engine, we'd definitely powder coat that. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we don't. So we're going to powder coat the winches. I'm excited. Also, the signage for Moonlight. Yes, yeah, signage for Moonlight. So that's exciting. We're going to do some vinyl and we're going to do a, um, like a pinstripe, but like a thick pinstripe. Yes. And yeah, that's really exciting. There's something else we're doing. Oh, we're installing the windows. So right now I'm staining them. You guys saw me sanding and staining last night. I got into a little bit of a hurry, um, so I think I'm gonna need to do some more sanding and staining. But we're gonna take that over to the shop at Edwards, and he's got a little bit of air conditioning. It is 100, it feels like 102, but it's not. Is that why you don't have a shirt on? Yeah, I'm gonna put a shirt on at the last possible moment. <laughs> Man. Okay, so it's quite the ordeal. Sorry, lovey, um, you to don't have a shirt bed, on to make the bed. bed. In the bed. To make, that's why I never make the bed. I am like, free from making the bed because it is so weird to make a triangle bed and I actually have to get into that hole. Let me show you the after fact. Ta-da! That's how you sleep on a 29 foot sailboat guys. Nicely. Yeah I have so much shit there it's not even funny like everything from a hat, yeah. a camera, a money box, hat, my night lamp, my book that I'm reading right now. Um, I also have my harmonicas in here. It's not that bad living in a 29 foot sailboat. I mean, everything just needs to have its place. You know, running a YouTube channel off a sailboat, you know, you need so much more gear. You need laptops. You need to be able to charge them with inverters. You have gear like, that's our drone right there. These are our cameras. That's camera number one, camera number two, and the one that I'm filming is camera number three. Chargers, cables, SD cards, very nice torch that somebody sent to us. Binox, spare bulge pump, Joby, chargers, starbursts. Very important people, very important starbursts. TV, inverter under there, food, fridge, propane stove. There's our nuts, there's our bars. When you're sailing and you just want something quick, you have your bars. We have olive oil, coffee, everything there. We really like ghee, we use ghee a lot. That's all the condiments, Tabasco, very important to have Tabasco. German mustard, very important. Ketchup, and eh, not that important. Most important, Botong. Most, most, most important and valuable prized possession after that one on the boat is Botong. Fruit basket usually hangs there. Right now we need that in the boat. So this is the flashlight that they gave us. They actually sent us two. It's called a Barracuda. It's an LED and I think it's a, what's it, 800 lumens or like a thousand? It's really, really strong. You guys should check it out. Anti-itch cream for the noceums. There you have where you hang your 
towels. This is where you brush your teeth. We have a very nice water saving um, head on this thing, so that's kind of nice. Below the sink, we have just stuff Extra, like extras, like sunscreen. shampoo, sunscreen, um, all the kakeraties that you need. There's our water pump, very nice, accessible. We have some WD-40 back there, and that's that's how we live. There's very, a system to it. Very excited to get the windows in. You guys can probably notice this nice blue hue. That is Sorry, the tarp. Sun. What's that? <laughs> the tarp is casting this gorgeous blue hue. But we'll give you guys another tour when it's perfectly clean, yeah. and the windows are in, and the moldings are in, and we'll do like a before and after. So we're really happy with the boat. Um, it's a really fun, easy boat to sail. I feel, you know, with this new Catch Me If You Can season that we have right now that's coming up, I can manage any other boat and Aubrey can manage the boat with Bianca. Sometimes uh, other people are with us on the boats and, you know, I just feel comfortable with Aubrey manning this boat so easily. I mean, you've sailed thousands we're and thousands of miles. This boat. We're manning the boat. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a fun boat. It's a very nice, fast boat. I'm going to have to make sure that my sail trimming is really in order so that I can beat your ass. That's right. Good luck. Yeah, right. All right, you guys, we are at Telemax Teleprompters and this is the guy that makes the teleprompters that you see on Amazon. And also, he does some crazy mad scientist work. Here he is. He's also a very famous TikToker for those of you that are on TikTok. I think it's mad scientist. So what's your TikTok handle? No, it's prime for you. Prime for you. Hashtag old people. I like it. We're not on the boat today. We have an air conditioning. Yes, we are. Oh yeah, you're just rocking. We are editing videos. Kids are eating pasta or pizza or whatever. Tell right. a joke. Tell a joke. Tell the people why you're not supposed to tell jokes. Tell and us just jokes. tell a joke. Come on. Anyone. Don't No man, you don't like that. Swallow your food. <laughs> when your dad spanks you on the butt, what do you what do you tell him after you're done getting a spanking? You tell him that he's a pain in a butt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a joke. a fisherman with no legs and arms. A uh, what? A worm. <laughs> uh... Tell us another joke. The whole family of tomatoes, the daddy tomato, the mom tomato, and the baby tomato went for a walk. And the baby tomato got left behind. So the daddy tomato yelled to the baby tomato, catch up. <laughs> Whatever. And we're at Telmax Prompters. And we are now going to show you how we're going to be printing our laminates for the boat. This is where the magic happens. And also, that's where Saw is currently varnishing. Taking over the workshop, yeah. Okay, so we are back at Edward's place. And as you can remember, this is our tabletop. Unfortunately, uh, with the conditions, uh, the boat, uh, the varnish went all gummy, so I have had to pull it all off again and I've sanded it down to the best of my ability without pulling off this nice vinyl finish that has a nice pattern to it. It will look a lot better once there is some coating on it. Okay, so this is about 30 minutes after I applied the first layer. So this is the bottom side of it so I'm not too worried about bubbles here but you can see even though I thinned it out and I really worked it hard there's still some bubbles have come through on the wood and that's all because of heat uh, so even though I thinned it down uh, and you work the bubbles out slowly and meticulously they still come through but it's looking a little way better than if we had this thing in direct sunlight like we did do there by the boat at the dock. So I'm going to mix up a second batch of that a little bit more because I prepped the tiller and I'm going to hit the tiller with the same stuff. I'll thin it out a little bit more for this one just so I can get deep into the, the grooves here. Okay, second coat is on. Now I'm going to let it sit for three to four hours so it will set hard and no longer be tacky. The tiller arm, that's one coat on here. It sucked up quite a bit, so I had to mix a little bit extra just to cover it nicely. And then when I do in 30 minutes to an hour, I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side. So now it's time to 
stain our oak frames with this gel stain, which is, I think, from Sherman Williams. I don't know, someone, old masters, someone gave this to me. It's like jello, it looks like chocolate. So we're going to stain the oak to match, as you can see here, the teak. A white pizza on it. All right. I'm just going to rub this in. Where is the fourth frame? I'm just kind of rubbing it in here. A chocolate sauce, eh? Chocolate sauce. Dirty diapers. I'm actually surprised how well that takes, eh? Yeah, this wood is it's beautiful. Is fresh, so it's just sucking up everything. So I think the teak plugs are gonna match perfectly. While they're busy on the other room, I am in this room busy printing some artwork for the boat. So that's looking really nice. It's a very nice machine. I wish I could travel around with a machine like that. I think if you buy a machine like this, it's a really nice way to make an income. You know, wrapping people's boats and putting some stickers on it. It's really, really nice. Okay, so right now we're busy with the Moonlight font. I chose that Moonlight font and then obviously Florida. I wish you could say something cooler like Pretoria. Um, and now we're doing like three bunnies and we're going to make one a pirate and we're going to put a cigar in another one's mouth. And then these three we're going to take away. So we're really having fun with getting this Moonlight font on the back of the boat. Do you like it? I like it. <laughs> of course I like it. It's my idea. <laughs> okay, so everybody knows I'm Captain New. And I decided I like that line for the bow, port and starboard side. And it's watercolor, so Aubrey likes it too. I think it's going to look amazing. So if you guys want to do some artwork on your boats and want to get some of vinyls. these things printed, <laughs> vinyls, this is your guy. We'll put all these information down below and we'll tell you why we've decided to do vinyls instead of paint job. More importantly, I think you guys should see that the mad scientist here is solving the world's problems on this whiteboard. Oh yeah, of course he is. Not really. Look at that. Yeah. I mean... Those are mostly my problems. <laughs> <laughs> That looks so cool. Look at the pirate, the pirate bunny, the one with the cigar, and then has Aubrey. <laughs> now it's gonna cut it. Yeah, it's gonna cut out. Okay. Very sweet. Okay, lovely. The uh, artwork's looking really nice. That's exciting. Yeah. So we've decided not to paint the boat, but to color it in with artwork. That's fun. Yeah. Like a VW van. Yeah, I mean, we now know how much it costs and how long it is to paint a boat. Yeah. And for the purpose of fun and this boat, we decided to do that. And I think it's going to look okay. I think it's going to look great. What you've missed today, because I was by myself and I couldn't film, is that I put up the head sail. I love these sails by Far East Sails. They're amazing. I love that crisp new sail sound. Wow, say that 10 times fast. All right, and so another present that we have received has been a solar system. And I'm not talking about the universe, people. I'm talking about solar for the boat. One of the most amazing, great systems on sailboats is this, the solar panel. The reason I say that is because you're able to create your own electricity and have such a small footprint. And that's why we sail, right? Um, the guys at custommarineproducts.com, Tom Trimmer and I spoke at length about why solar panels, what type of solar panels, how do you figure out how much solar you need, what type of controller you want. So Tom Trimmer has designed this power consumption worksheet and he presents this at boat shows all over the show. You put in exactly how much fans you have, how many uh, computers you're charging, what uh, uh, refrigeration you have, and that all comes down to how much solar panels you need. If you're wondering if you have enough solar panels on your boat, is it working efficiently enough? Go to custommarineproducts.com, check the link in the description below, and make sure that you have the best solar on your boat. Thank you so much to the guys there. They've helped us hold our hands through the whole system and product, ch uh, ch choosing the products, also what we're doing is we're going to be putting this on top of the Bimini and how they do that is with the strongest magnets I have 
ever come across in my life. It's so strong that I can, I can hardly take them apart. So these solar panels are gonna go on the Bimini with magnets and we're gonna show you how to do that. I've never done this uh, this way, but it's a, it's a really fun way to do this. So let's do it. So this is Searle. He is very good at reading instructions. He is the only one in our team yes, of that, people that, that, so that can read like, instructions. So read instructions. <laughs> I'm like, just like, I'll figure it out. He's like, no, 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 wait. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 show me the picture. <laughs> These magnets are so strong. Put it through your hand again. Here. That is crazy. Through oh my hand. Oh my gosh. And I can feel it. it Pulling. Really? I swear, you cannot believe it. Oh! Ow, that hurts! It's gonna mess up your pacemaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this. Is this gonna be enough Magnet. solar? Uh, yeah. Alright. Uh, Sorrel, come on, set me in a girl. Same guy that couldn't open the milk jug this morning. <laughs> Come on, Sorrel. <laughs> yeah, you I take those things off. Then. Yes. <laughs> if I spin it, it just spins the other way around. No. You gotta like spin and slide and. If you're used to. Um, Refitting, rebuilding, reinstalling a whole 29 sailboat, then this is probably not a classic Fun. Fun. Old man manual. Do you come with a manual? Um, I know I don't. <laughs> yeah. I, your manual is way, way too thick and complicated. <laughs> now I've got a thin one like this, that's not my life. <laughs> and most of it's just other languages. Yes. Yeah. Now we've got the solar charger controller, nice and in. They can say it was obviously found out who we are, sent us an extra cell for free, and a love letter and a lot of shirts and <laughs> stuff. Thanks White Bacon! Pink, pink shirts as well. Oh so, my goodness! So I was looking for a sale for Moonlight because the head cell that we have now is the 100% and it's really short. Um, it doesn't go all the way up and so we're speaking to bacon sales and so I ordered a sale and I just arrived and I was like why is there two sales and then I opened the one so it's not much bigger and then there's this letter Stefan and Aubrey as you head down south to the bluer waters I thought you may may be able to use the other sale along the way therefore I went ahead and included that one in the box so hopefully between the two of y'all and the boat make it there in safe and good timing Sometimes clothing becomes a bit scarce on the water, which we know of. So I included a couple of hats. I'll let you decide who gets which. Okay, thank you bacon sales. I'm taking that one. A couple of shirts. Save an extra large for Greg Guthman. He seems like a pretty cool guy. <laughs> He's one of our patrons. A small tank for the Little Miss on board. So there's one for Bianca. Sunglass retainers and some stickers. Fair travels to the both of you and please let me know if you need anything else. God bless. Stevie Reeves, the vice president and co-owner of Bacon Sales. And oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much. I have like goosebumps. That is so, so cool. Nice. Very, very nice. I am, just because you're so nice. Oh my gosh. You're the, you two are the t-shirt stealers. Gonna strip <laughs> down and from now on, we'll be wearing Bacon Sales. Because I love bacon. I, I can and tell. So. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Okay, let me see your muscles. Flex them. <laughs> it's like Blake. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bacon sales. Oh, are you aching? For some bacon. Yep, yep, yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> I love my new hat. Thank you. You guys are awesome. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. All right, so this is the brand new nice bacon sale. That cell that they're busy with is the old cell on Moonlight. And you can see how much bigger this other cell is that they included for us for free of charge. Such a nice gift. Thank you so much, guys. But in any case, this cell that was on Moonlight, so small head cell. Now we have 130% head cell. And this is probably a 120. And that's going to be very, very nice. That little boat's going to fly. 
All right, there is the two boats in the Go See Sailing Fleet, Little Miss and Moonlight. And the new sail is up on Moonlight, all the way to the top, 130% sail, with our brand new dinghy. And we are so happy and ready to get out of Vera Beach. Solar panels are installed today, and now we are working on your main sail. Yeah. All right, this was my Father's Day present from Aubrey and Bianca. And I think I've only had like one or two of it. It's only for celebrating. And I think it's a time to celebrate because today solar panels are up. We installed them. We got a new sail up, which is there. We put the main sail up. We put that head sail up. We also started working on the bolts pump in there. And we are doing a little bride tonight. So. For those of you that like bourbon, um, and you know this one, then you know what I'm gonna be tasting in about one minute. All right, another amazing day, and I'm wearing pink for bacon sales. Thank you, bacon sales. We're gonna have a South African braai right now. We have some fish that's gonna be going onto the braai, and uh, we're saying goodbye to land. We're saying farewell to Vera Beach, because it's been treating us good. This refit has been a tall order. It's been a lot of hard, sweating days, but we're so excited for you guys to come and sail with us. And uh, we have so many nice people that want to come hang out. We have two boats, 29 foot sailboat, a 33 foot Pearson, and don't forget about Magic, the 41 foot beautiful catch in Dominican Republic that's still also gonna make her appearance on the show. Thank you guys for so many amazing comments and just hanging out with us, coming with every bride, every sail, every step of this journey around the world. Thank you.